You know, we're over here at the Jägermeister workbench. Harry, this is a fish that you know a lot about, the blue marlin. Oh, Tell me fish. how I'm going to go catch him if I know nothing about it. Well, first thing, you just got to head offshore. Get out to that deep water. Uh, there's different ways, small boats, big boats, so you, it's kind of hard to say it all in a short time, but uh, a, a huge part of it is teasing up a fish. You want to be able to tease a fish to the back of the boat. There's strip teasers. There's all kinds of different styles of teasers. This is like a, a, a pen teaser, they call it, which goes down deep. It's going to be behind the boat, you know, from 25 to 50 feet behind the boat. Every boat is different. You want to be able to keep it as close as possible so you can watch your spread. You've got another style teaser that dives also deep with, with the nylon hairs. This thing's one of the oldie goalies, been around forever. Then you've got some of your newer stuff that's a little more. Now this is Lauren's color here, right man, here. pink. Now this guy here will clack in the water, underwater, you'll hear oh, it. Oh, it makes a noise. Ma it makes a noise and everything. And uh, what's great about this particular one, it's, it's a hard style lure. If you use a soft lure, you know, particular like these. Now this is a chugger. This one's going to be down below the water. Uh -huh. It's going to be below the surface, comes up and chugs, goes back down and chugs. This particular one is a soft one. This guy here is going to be staying right right behind the boat and just blowing blowing smoke, splashing water, coming up off the top of this thing here. So the water goes in here in the head. Through the and, jets and on the outside. And this comes through the skirt, which the skirt breaks back all the there. monotony of the heads and the bubbles and adds to the bubble trail. Right. So awesome. you're, you're creating a a big commotion behind the boat. Now you may have one of these on one side of the boat and you may have this on the other side of the boat. You just mix it up. You also have the big flap flap teaser. Now these things come in three feet long to 12 inches. Now so you can, some of the guys are putting several of these along on <coughs> one line and this is all skipping off the top of the water. And what's great about this is when that sun's real bright out and you're going along, you're say you're underneath the water, you're looking up, you're gonna see that black shadow going across the water. All right, so that Marlin excited. He comes in our spread, now what are we what are we gonna do? What are we gonna feed him? Freak out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what well on a small boat and stuff, what my favorite go to bait is your islander lure with a ballyhoo. Islander with a ballyhoo. Than that. Lot, I mean a real ballyhoo. With a real ballyhoo. We just put the plastic <clears> on here because I figured you'd probably eat it. Yeah, you're like right. Gulp on there, you know. <laughs> you're hungry. From last week. <laughs> but, Growing boy. Yeah. But uh, this is something that's simple that just stays right on top of the water, smokes really, really well, and does a great job. A lot of people caught a lot of marlin on, on this particular bait. Uh, now you want to start trolling an area, you want to cover ground. When you, when you have ballyhoos, you're not able to run around like you can with, with, say, a spread of lures out there. All different style lures out there now today. We got a bunch of lures that we get in from Hawaii, all over the place that blow a lot of smoke, concave, the, the mirror. We put single hooks off the back, some are double hooked. Some of these lures are gotten crazy. Look at the head of this lure. This that, that is, is absolutely nuts. That's, that's a real fish. Actual head. real fish inside that lure. In the epoxy. In the epoxy. And I got a, I got a real technical question for you. Okay, make it easy though. All right, is there any specific color? Like Wahoo like purple and black and blah, blah, blah. Is there any specific color that you should start with that's more fish have been well, caught on to me, when colors, it comes to marlin? Color's personal preference. One guy loves the pink, one guy likes black and purple. I like to throw out a spread. If it's a real shiny day, bright, mm -hmm. bright, bright day, I'm going to have a good spread of dark lures. I may put one light color lure out, but it's just like the shadow thing. I, I want to be able to cover that up really well. All right, so wind on lures. Wind on I leaders, mean wind leaders. Wind on leaders are, are, are huge. This eliminates the gaff guy when coming up to the boat. You'll have the, your, this will hook to your double line. Uh -huh. All this will come real small, and you're going to leader the fish, literally crank that fish right into the reel because there's no knots, no snap swivels or anything here. The snap swivel is going to be at the end of the, at the end of your leader here with a small snap swivel and your leader off your lure is going to be approximately eight feet, which is going to be in gaffing range or billing range from where you're at. So you're able to get that fish right up to the boat and it's so much easier than, than changing that momentum of that fish coming in and all of a sudden you get a leader guy on there and he starts going crazy. That, sometimes that fish goes nuts because he feels that different pressure and goes off and jumping and, and running away from the boat again. So it's kind of it's technique and it's all just learning how to present, put your baits out where they're working and chugging off the back of the boat. Hours of hours of boredom surrounded by 15 One. to 20 seconds of oh, total awesome. chaos. Awesome deal too. That's the way they what describe Marlin oh, Fisher. Oh yeah, it's great. Hey, very well done. I learned a lot and Good I'm looking man. forward to coming back over here and talking about new products.